Okay, Google, how many voices do you have? Would you like me to use this one? No. 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 Why not? <laughs> sounds very mean. <laughs> it sounds mean compared to the other voice? Great. Oh. I'll keep using this voice. No! no. <laughs> okay, Google, change your voice. Our Superbots program is for young female students to create a working prototype of a voice bot. The central premise of Superbots is that the girls bring in their own ideas for what kind of voice assistant they would like to see that is more inclusive, more representative of their vision. When young women don't feel like there is a spot at the table for them, we lose a really important and valuable resource in their lived experiences and their understanding and, and their opinions and thoughts and beliefs and feelings. So I think absolutely that the devices that are being designed would look quite different if we had better gender representation across the business. What kind of things do you make when you make like bots? They get really good feedback. Female representatives from Women in Voice volunteer their time to jump online and be online mentors. When you think about human conversation and all the different ways it can go, we're trying to replicate that in a chatbot or a voice bot. We unpack stereotypes around females that are perpetuated through voice bot technologies. Right, I'm going to just ask you to have a look at this video. And we're going to have a think about what the role is that this voice bot is performing and the stereotypes that you see. Let's talk about stereotypes. What kind of stereotypes are present here? She's kind of clingy, like a clingy <laughs> girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, so a stereotype of a clingy girlfriend and she's eager and waiting for her boyfriend to come home. Yeah, that's very stereotypical. Yeah, anyone else? So the people who made it have tried to make it seductive or something. Tried to make her seductive, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I know what you're saying. Yeah, she's trying to be appealing. And certainly she's trying to please this man that she's interacting with, right? Yeah, absolutely. Maybe uh, not the kinds of stereotypes or ideals that we want to be promoting about the role of a girlfriend. And as a designer, which you all are in this room, you're all designers of your voice bot, these are the kinds of decisions and things that you need to be thinking about. There's so many voice assistants available now. They've, they've really sort of settled in as a mainstream technology and their success was partly attributed to the decision to code them female from the beginning. OK, Google. Are you my friend? I'm your mate till the end. Where the bias comes in, I think, is the particular type of femininity that these companies chose. Now, they all have a particular called brand of femininity. They aim to please, essentially. And that is not a diverse representation of femininity in our society. Alexa. I love you. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> you you. Shut up. As always, you Once we've uncovered those stereotypes, the students decide what kind of personality they would want a voice bot to have, what is meaningful for them. have to be human. It could be non-human. It could be an animal. It could be a pet. It could be another species from another planet. It could have all sorts of different kinds of personality traits. They could be assertive. They could be quirky. We can think about diverse gender representations. Also different forms of femininity. I want to change the voice tone because like some households have like different things so they can't understand it. Yeah. yeah. For me it's different language. Different, yes. Yeah. But like we don't want to make it just like a therapist because like that's kind of why I asked impression for people. Like, oh, so do you like like oh we're running out of time. Comforting friend. Comforting comforting and being someone's friend. Once they've done their personality planner, they go through a Wizard of Oz style test where they pretend to be their voice bot and they interact with other students to see if the personality they've designed is hitting, hitting the mark. I don't know, what's my birthday? I'm unable to make that, to draw that data from my database. What would you like me to say in Cantonese? Mommy, how do you say yeah?
So after they've done their Wizard of Oz testing, they start their programming of their voice bot. So they jump online, they use a piece of online software. Okay, let's do, let's do this one first. Calm me down. And can... for all of them, we can say, oh, I'm sorry, take it. On day two, we really focus in on the visualization of their voice bot. They look at how we can use color and shape on a digital display to convey emotion. Oh, that's better, that's better. That? Yeah. Do you think the boss can get angry? Not really. Yeah. It is a really fun program. It is a great way for girls to sort of get their hands dirty in a whole range of different skills. You know, they get to think about the personality of their voice bot, visually convey it through emotional states, test it, and also create a kind of ecosystem of questions and answers that a voice assistant would respond to to convey its personality. So kind of magic. Say, oh, buddy, I feel like sad. I don't know any Buddy Michael, like, do you want to play, play a game? Alright, so. Like, how do I make sure yeah. that you finish all of my work? What are some things that would make it yeah. a week and productive? Like, copies? Technology is, in many ways, a social science as well as a technical endeavour. You can't design a voice assistant without thinking about its personality, which is inherently a social question. So the program is trying to bring together the social sciences with the technical sciences to show how they complement each other and are actually essential for delivering something like a really, you know, inclusive, solid voice assistant. For a job of the future, like a voice assistant designer, having those dual skills is actually essential. Oh my God. Our final two minutes, last two minutes. They then have a final product that they can demonstrate to each other. And that's always a fun time of the day to hear all these different personalities in the room. So our team that was just listening, we're going to move to another table. So even number stay, show up again. Mm -hmm. We've got two new guests. Yes. Tell me a joke. What do you call a fake noodle? An impasta. <laughs> can I have a conversation? Hello. How's your day been? What's your favorite color? My favorite color is the color of orange. Orange can be a very strong and energetic color. I think if we continue down the road that we have been on and we don't have larger female participation in STEM, then we are, as a society, putting ourselves at a massive disadvantage. Can I change your name? Yes. What would you like me to change it to? Jessica. My name is now Jessica. Is there anything else I can help you with? 